My name is William O'Brien. I'm the president of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Club, and I just want to give you a little bit of a background on how we started. Uh, we started around four years ago. Um, the club instructor is Dr. Corey Kilburn. He's a brown belt under the Novin Yao School, which is one of the biggest schools in the world right now. Um, he's been doing it for around 10 years. He started with Dan Swift and Mike Rooney, other practitioners in the area. Uh, he started it, he's actually a math professor here, and he wanted to educate other people and bring the art to the school. Um, we actually meet Mondays and Wednesdays in the, re in the wrestling room, Macomb Field House, at 6.30. We were able to use the room thanks to the wrestling team because Corey represented the wrestling team for four or four and a half years. Um, it's a great time, you get a great workout. And to explain the art a little bit, it was originally brought over from Japan to Brazil. It was introduced to the Gracie family. And the Gracie family took the art, which is more a mixture of judo and wrestling. And they took the art and made it more of a self-defense art because one of the um, smallest brothers, Helio, had a debilitating bone illness. And they took it and made it more about the small man, made it more about the ideas of te uh, technique and leverage. And using that to, so any position you get in, you can finish your opponent pretty much. Um, and it's all about the use of technique and leverage. There's little, no strength involved. And that's the way we try to teach it. Um, I've myself been doing it four years and it's, it's been an amazing experience. It's changed a lot of the way I see everyday life. Um, the way we run the club is we usually start, we talk a little bit, we stretch out, and then we usually show three techniques per class. And those three techniques, we go over and we drill a bunch. And then uh, once everyone has it down, we do some live rolling just to try to implement those techniques that we learned that day in class. And um, it's usually a big group of us, usually 20 to 30 people, and varying levels of experience, no experience is necessary. Um, we try to use more gi technique because it's better because it slows every, everything down and makes it tighter, more technical. Um, the use of the gi, we use like collars and sleeves a lot to, for control purposes and it allows for a lot more technique. Um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is in itself is expanding. It's becoming very popular in the US. Uh, the World Championships are held in California at actually, I think it's UCLA. And um, more and more practitioners are coming from Brazil and implementing their own styles. And even a lot of Americans are becoming more and more um, involved with Jiu-Jitsu. Um, the club is having a seminar October 12th, just sat next Saturday, and we're having a three-time Brazilian national champ and 2008 world champion. He's actually the president of Novinhal, which is the biggest school in the world right now. Um, he's a great practitioner. He's been competing for, I think, 14 years. Um, he's part of, like I said, the world renowned camp that had BJ Penn, uh, obviously former UFC fighter, and was the first American to win the world championships. Um, Vitor Shellen, which is, he was a six time world champion. We actually had him teach a seminar last year. Um, Hobson Moore, who's a seven time world champion. And then they're actually one of the biggest MMA schools in the, in the, world right now. They have UFC champion Jose Aldo, um, Henan Brow, who's the interim bantamweight UFC champion, and they have a bunch of other top level MMA fighters. Um, it's, a great, it's a great seminar, and we're lucky that SGA allowed us to bring such a high caliber guy in, and we are so pleased about the way this club is turning out, and we would love for you to come down and try it out and I guarantee you'll love it. And definitely check out our seminar and our tournament. 
Our submission only tournament, Mission Submission 3, is November 23rd. It's a Saturday. It's, I think, right before Thanksgiving break. And that's going to be all day, and that's going to be in the dome. Uh, I don't know the name of the dome, the sports dome. And um, there's going to be tons of competitors. Definitely check it out. There's no spectator fees. It's going to be a, a great time. We're going to have a DJ. It's, you're going to see a lot of high caliber grappling. So definitely come check it out.